Father Flump was playing a quiet after breakfast tune on his flumpet. <laughs> That music's too loud. Much too loud. Perkin was in a very bad mood. Ugh, this water's cold. I'm not going to watch in this. No, I'm not. And this floor's much too bumpy. It's hurting my feet. Hello, Perkin. You're late this morning. Sit down and eat your porridge. Ugh. Ugh. I've gone off porridge. Right off. It's too lumpy and too sticky. I wonder if he's sickening for something, thought Mother. Are you feeling all right, Perkin? You're looking sorry for yourself this morning. No, I'm not feeling all right. I'm feeling all wrong. I feel sort of yuck or oh, horrible. I feel umpty. Umpty? What's umpty? I'm umpty. Fed up. The flumpet music's too bumpy. The water's too lumpy. The floor's too wet and slushy and the porridge is too loud. It's a too much morning and I'm umpty. I expect you got out of bed the wrong side this morning, said Mother. But I, I got out of bed the same side as usual. Well, cheer up or you'll be under a cloud all day. And you can't see the nice side of anything under a cloud. It's got nothing to do with beds or clouds. I'm just fed up. And I'm going out to the yard to be umpty on my own, grumbled Perkin. Well, you must have something to eat. Here, take this carrot with you. Perkin went off to be umpty by himself. Don't want porridge or carrots. Don't want any breakfast. Yuck! I don't like carrots. It's rabbit food. I'm not a rabbit, I'm a flump. A fed-up flump. Hm. Perkin remembered that Grandfather liked carrots. Grandfather, can you use a carrot? Being outside didn't make Perkin feel any happier. He still felt fed up and umpty. This yard is too stony, he said. Ow! Ow! Ouch! Oh, my toe! Oh, who put that rock there? Posy and Poodle were playing ball. Oh, look! Oh! Posy and Poodle couldn't believe their eyes. What are you two staring at? said Perkin. That? That's what we're staring at. Where did you get it? Oh, no! Mother Flump said I'd be under a cloud all day if I didn't cheer up, and there it is. Are you going to keep it? I think it's nice. Well, I don't. I never wanted a cloud over me in the first place. Scat! Hop it! Go away! I think it's smashing. I wish I had one, said Poodle. No, you don't, said Perkin. It's gloomy and grey under this cloud. Is it, said Posy. Let's see. Oh! What's it like, asked Poodle. Horrible said Posy. Can't be as bad as all that. <laughs> it makes me feel very sad. Yes, droopy like my ribbons. You're right. That's a very gloomy cloud, Perkin. I'm glad I don't have to stay under it. Oh, my ribbons perked up. So have I. 
It's nicer being out than under. It's all right for you two, said Perkin. I'm still under it, umpty and fed up, grumpy. Whenever I go, the cloud goes too. Flump. He's down in the dumps. He's mopey and moody and feeling quite gloomy. And full of the groans and the grumps. <laughs> He's an umpty flump. He just isn't flumping. An umpty flump. He just isn't flumping. Growly and grumpy down in the dumps. He's a grumpy. <laughs> Lamp. Well, don't just stand there. Help me, said Perkin. Tr try to frighten it away. Hop it. Get off. Scram. <laughs> Skidaddle. Scram. Yarboo. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Think of something else. I know, said Posy. Let's hide from it. Right. When I say go, hide behind the bricks. Ready? Steady? Get back, Perkin. Don't be so impatient. Ready? Steady? Go! It's gone, hasn't it? Wonder where it is. I can't see it anywhere. It's here, in this bucket. So it is, said Posy. Quick, said Perkin. Get a lid or something to cover it up before it gets away. The cloud isn't really in the bucket. It's only a reflection. Where is it then? Oh, no! <sighs> if only the blow would wind, said Poodle, that would breeze the cloud away. What do you mean, blow winds breezing? You're getting mixed up again, Poodle. I don't know, said Posy. It's quite a good idea, blowing. If we all blew together, we might be able to blow it away. It's worth a try, I suppose. Let's have a go, said Perkin, who was still feeling very empty. <sighs> well, that didn't do much good. What a waste of breath. Let's try again, said Posy. <gasps> Again, said Posy. <gasps> Blow harder, said Perkin. <gasps> oh, that hasn't done a thing. Oh, not a thing. It's just made us out of breath, and the cloud's still there, and I'm still fed up. I know, said Poodle. You try to creep away quietly, while Posy and I make noises at it. Cooey! Cooey. You! Hello, Come cloud. and follow me! Yoo Perkin began to creep quietly Hi. away from the cloud, but when he stopped, Oh, this is no good, said Perkin. I know, said Posy. A go-away cloud song might do the trick. That's a good idea. I always want to go away when you sing. Cloud. 
Clouds come, clouds go, rain clouds, snow clouds. They make mountains like islands in the sky, but they never stay clouds. They go away clouds. They come, then pass on. If they bring storm and thunder, we will never mind. For they never stay clouds; they go away clouds and leave the sun to This one hasn't gone and left the sun behind. Oh dear," said Posy. "I hope it doesn't rain," said Poodle. "I'm fed up, and I'm getting backache looking up at this cloud. So am I. Me too." Father Flump was on his way to the allotment. Grated carrots! What's all this then? Oh ho! Mother Flump told me you were in a bad mood, Perkin, and that you might be under a cloud. You'd better cheer him up, Posy and Poodle. That cloud will hang around all day unless he cheers up. Did you hear that, Perkin? All you have to do is cheer up, and the cloud will go away. I can't cheer up. I know. Let's. Tickle him! Don't you dare! You know I can't stand being tickled," said Perkin. "But you can't just stay there under a cloud forever. You must cheer up soon." "Why?" said Grandfather. "Mother Flump said you might be under a cloud, young Perkin. Hand me the stool, lad, and I'll cheer you up with a tune. Not the same tune as this morning. A happy one. A laughing one." Eh, I know just the thing. It's a funny one that'll make you laugh. If you're laughing, you won't be empty. <laughs> hey, what's all this? It was playing all right this morning. Oh dear," said Perkin, remembering the carrot. <laughs> Perkin, Poodle, and Posy began to laugh when the carrot flew out of the flumpet. They laughed and they laughed and they laughed, and as they did, the cloud went higher and higher into the sky. Where did this carrot come from? said Father Flump. The flumpet, said Posy, still laughing. Look, the cloud is gone. And so it had. Everything's much brighter, including me. I could do with my breakfast and my lunch now. What is going on? Perkin is happy again. He isn't under a cloud anymore. Grandfather, the flumpet, and a carrot cheered him up. Well, it was about time something cheered him up. Why don't you come in for lunch and tell me all about it? <laughs> Thank you. 